Last time, we looked at proving that angles inside of a triangle always add up to 180 degrees. So today we're going to see what the interior angles of other shapes add up to. Here we have a triangle and we know from our last video that these angles must add up to 180 degrees. Now if you missed that video, be sure to have a look at our page and check it out. So now we understand the rule for the interior angles of triangles, we want to try and understand and prove the interior angles for other shapes. So it makes sense to move on to four-sided shapes which are known as quadrilaterals. Our job then is to turn this triangle into a four-sided shape. Now how can we do that? Well, we can use another triangle. So we bring this red one in and we match up the sides here. We've created a four-sided shape. Now the way this works is, if we imagine this line of the triangle here being extended out as we join them up to form two sides. So we trade in one side of the triangle for two sides of the new triangle, thus changing from a three-sided shape into a four-sided shape. With the visual clues you can see of the red angles in this triangle and the blue angles in this triangle, some of you might have already seen where we're going here. If the angles inside of this triangle add up to 180 degrees and the angles inside of this triangle add up to 180 degrees, which we've proven in the past, then the angles inside of the quadrilateral as a whole must add up to two triangles worth of angles. If one triangle's angles add up to 180 degrees, then two triangle's angles must total 360 degrees. Therefore, the angles inside of this quadrilateral add up to 360 degrees. Here is the proof. And there we have it. The total interior angles of a quadrilateral must add up to 360 degrees because if we put them around a point, we complete a full circle. That proof works for any quadrilateral just like the triangle proof worked for any triangle. But if you don't believe us that angles inside of a quadrilateral always add up to 360 degrees, you can have a go at home. Grab a ruler, draw one out using straight lines, rip off the edges, and it should go all the way around a point to make 360 degrees. We can take this thinking a bit further. Let's have a look. So now that we understand that all quadrilaterals are made up of two triangles, we know that the interior angles must add up to 180 degrees plus 180 degrees, which is 360 degrees. But we're going to take it one step further. What about if this was a five-sided shape? Now using the same logic as we did previously to transform a triangle to a quadrilateral by making one side into two sides, we're going to do the same across the top here. We're going to take a triangle, put it across the top, and transform this top side into two new sides at the top. And here we have our pentagon. Now looking at the sheets here, we can see that we have one, two, three triangles. Each triangle has interior angles that add up to 180 degrees. So we can figure out that the interior angles of a pentagon of a five-sided shape must be 540 degrees. We've got a couple of questions for you to try and answer. The first question is going to be a quadrilateral. In this shape, there is a missing angle. Can you use the rule we've learned today about the interior angles of a quadrilateral to try and figure out what the missing angle must be? Pause the video and leave us a comment down below. We've also got a challenge question. Now what we've done is we've put a table together of all of the results of our investigation so far. Three-sided shapes, four-sided shapes, five-sided shapes, and even a hexagon six-sided shape we've recorded the interior angles and what they total. Now, can you try and spot a pattern? Do you know what might come next for a seven-sided shape or even an eight-sided shape? If you think you can see what's going on, leave us a comment down below. As always, thank you for watching and be sure to like our page for plenty more educational videos to come.